Star Trek USS Enterprise. Um, this set contains 432 pieces. Um, it's from Creo. It's a brand new unit from Creo. Um, it's featuring light tech and comes with five minifigures or Creons. Let's go up to the close up. So, first you have this removable, the removable piece for the bridge. Set that over here. And it has enough space for five figures to sit down. You can put other figures to stand up and stuff. So, of course, there's the captain's chair for Captain Kirk. And in the two pilot seats, I have Dr. McCoy or Bones. It comes with this little needle shot thing. Um, and Spock right here. I'll show you him. He's a really nice figure, except he's got a rubber hair piece, unlike Captain Kirk. He's got these cool little ears, and yeah. Um, the set is very fragile, it likes to break a lot, so you gotta be careful. And there's Captain Kirk, he's got this platinum, a nice hard plastic hair piece. And next over here are the two specialists. Um, it's, um, some other, uh, person on YouTube said these were bad guys, and I think he's correct. So, yep, that's them. And they all come with phasers except for bones. So, and here's a sticker right here to represent the space. And you can put that up if you want. Well, I'm not gonna because it falls. Anyways, two more stickers over here for control panels, and one over here for control panels. And there's two levers down here so they can use it to control the ship. And then you have yellow translucent lights, blue translucent lights, and these to co collect the piece of the bridge that I just took off. Um, something that Creo did, which was really cheap, is they made some of the pieces really just big. Like this piece down here, it's from here to here, it's just all one big piece. It, it's just a pain to put some of the pieces on. And same with this gray piece in here, that's all one piece. I mean, it, it, that's what made this build kind of hard on the bridge or the saucer because it I'll just also I'll, I'll explain it later but anyways uh here's the two engines or wings if you want to call them and they're both openable so they're both openable and you can see the engines in there on both sides and then here in the back is lights here's the bottom of the ship some more lights and there's a lot of stickers in this set. This one says US, USS Enterprise United Federation of Planets. That's on both sides. Yeah, there's a lot of stickers, so it's kind of a pain to put them all on. Anyways, some more NCC 1701. One, one those are all stickers. These are the only printed pieces right here. This is a sticker, but these are printed. Alright, anyways, to put the bridge piece back on. Supposed to connect these four little red pieces right here. You're supposed to connect it, but I'm not gonna. Anyways, um, so uh, like I said earlier, it features light tech. And what you do is there's a little blue button under here that you push, and if you want to press it once, um, the lights just go on. If you want to press it twice, the lights flicker a little bit, and press it three times, the lights flicker also. So that's a cool feature. Press it three times, and that's what they do. It's really cool. Yeah, that is one cool feature about the set, but, um, well, I, I gotta say, I'm not, I'm very, really just not impressed with the set, I mean, I, the Brick Show gave the set a 9 out of 10, and I, I'm gonna have to disagree on that, I'm just, I mean, the build, okay, the build on this saucer was just, it, it was just extremely hard, I mean, I, if, I'll show you. I made a modification so that I could actually complete this build. Because if you can see right under there, there's supposed to be four pieces that are like half circle. Half circle pieces, if you know what I mean. And there's four of them, and you connect them right there. But they kept on falling off because this one big piece was just so cheap, and you could not snap them on at all. So what I t t did was took a, f a four by two piece and put it right here. Right here, yeah. And that was just a pain, and I ended up actually buying one before this, and it was just some of the pieces were warped, meaning, like, they were messed up in the factory, so I bought a completely new one, and the build was exactly the same about how hard it was, and I just made a bonification, and, yeah. 
So I really, I highly suggest you make a modification exactly like I did because those four pieces will physically just not go on, and it it just takes a lot of hard work to do that. And so what I suggest is if you do really want to buy the set, take a four by two piece and put it under there instead of using the four circle pieces. So that was a big pain, and you have to attach these pieces right here. Right there, you have to attach them, and it's very, very hard to get them on because the the studs are so far apart, and it's just really a pain. And one thing is the photon torpedo. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but you push that, and it goes. It's just like a flick fire missile, more like push fire. But um, th that's basically it. Um, also, it's just the big pieces were really cheap, and how they didn't include batteries for the light was stupid, but every company does that so what do you expect but it, it's just the build the build would have been too hard for people in ages 9 to 14 because I mean it's just it's it's pretty hard I mean you don't want to be giving a kid this set you're gonna want the parent to build this this is very hard um I mean it took me I, I don't know maybe two hours to do this and it's only 432 pieces and it took me that long so well it's not too long but I mean it shouldn't take that long for that piece, that much of a piece count, so, and the price on this is 60 bu bucks, and that's a really bad price per piece, because, um, if you think about it, uh, Lego has, I don't know, the TIE Fighter for, I think, 50 bucks, and it's, I think, just as many pieces as this, and this is Creo, and they're even overpricing it, but I think that's because this is the first time an Enterprise has ever been made, well, actually, no, Megablox has made it, but, First time an Enterprise is made for the Captain when Captain Kirk was in it and and features light tech, so that does boost the price a little bit. But the price doesn't bother me that bad, it's just the fact that the set is so hard to build. And I I really do not recommend you pick this set up. I really don't. I mean the finish look is really nice, it looks really nice when you're done. You can swoosh it around and stuff, but you gotta be careful, it's really fragile in the saucer. But I mean Unless you absolutely want this set, I mean, you're craving it, I, I, I mean, I still don't even recommend you buy it, because that saucer is going to drive you crazy, I mean, I got really mad when I was building this, but, I mean, I'm, I'm just not impressed at all, but, uh, the finish looked as nice, what I said, and ratings, I'm probably, I don't know, maybe going to go 4 out of 10, maybe 3, it's just, it's just really that bad, I mean, it's, the quality of the bricks is so terrible compared to Lego and Mega Box. It's it's just crazy. I mean, I, I I might pick up the other Creo sets because um everyone has given them good reviews and they don't have these big cheap pieces like the Enterprise has. So I'll probably pick up some of those. Um, but this is my first Creo set I've ever got, and I'm I'm just really not impressed. I mean, it's just terrible. And the fact that it's actually made by Hasbro, the top selling toy company in the entire world, makes makes Creo sets, and Unfortunately, their quality is just terrible, which surprised me. But, um, at least they came out with some Star Trek sets. I mean, that's cool, but, like I said, the build is just too hard for young kids, and I really don't recommend buying this for your kid or buying it for yourself if you really want it, so. Um, yep, that's basically it. Um, please stay tuned for more reviews. I'm probably going to be reviewing the UCS Star Wars R2-D2 soon, and... Maybe the Republic gunship. Alright, bye.